Welcome back to Technologies. In this video, we will see a very interesting editor called Volama. Using Volama, let us experience the brand new Metal's open source LLM Llama 3. Okay, what is Volama? Volama is an AI tool which enables users to download and run open source LLMs on their local computer or laptop. It can be a, it can be with the minimum system requirement of 8 GB RAM with a decent CPU. The more powerful is your system, the model performance is better. And uh, Olama bundles model bait and configuration and data into a single package called model file. And it supports Llama 3, P3, that's Microsoft and Mistral, Gemma and many more models. It allows users to customize and create their own model. Okay, on Llama 3, the most capable of openly available NLM to date. And it trained with 15 trillion tokens and it is available in 8 billion and 70 billion models. The models are already outperforming uh, Gemma 7B and Mistral 7B. If you look at this uh, comparison parameters, you would come to you will see that. And it is comparable with the uh, chat GBT4. And there are three ways to access this model. One is the official Meta's website. Two is Hugging Face. And third way is Volava's repository. So we will follow the third way. That's using Volama. Let us go to the official Volama site. It's Volama dot com. And you will land at the home page of Olao. Okay, now you can uh, see this page where um, what it so running architecture supported Lava, Mistral, Gamma, all that. And the model is click. And you can browse the model or you can search, you know, the name of the board. Yeah, let's go back. Now, what you wanted to see is we like to download this. Uh, on your desktop, the available ways are backways, Linux, Windows, and Flip. So, this current system is Windows. I forward it by system is Windows. Let's go ahead and download this. Okay, it's selected Windows because so uh, from the OS it's created. And it is Windows 11. Okay. Now, let's click on this. Download starter. Okay. Okay, it's got downloaded. Let's run setup. Okay, so click install. It should take a more. Minutes depends on your system speed. Okay, once uh, Volama is installed, you will see the running icon here. Let's proceed. Okay, let's verify this installation. Command pro. or uh, six. Uh, perfect. It's giving the instruction. Let me quickly run through the commands. All the have is uh, so with the starting the so it's one of our server on a specific port and IP address and create creating a old custom model that show show information for a model run command run a model pull is to pull a model from repository push is to push a model to registry or repository list. Use your list models, copy the model CP, or it was certain award. Help us about then this command. Okay, let's pull the Lama 3 model. There's a down about column. Right. It will take up minutes, depends on the speed. 
that song sticker. Yep. A few moments later. Bruh. A few moments later. Okay, it's uh, downloaded. Lama 3 is downloaded. Uh, took some time. Depends on your internet speed, the time will be. Let's proceed. Okay, let us interact with the Lama 3 mod. First thing, what we do is go ahead and start the so Start the Lama model. That is uh, all about that run. Now three. So when you say run, usually, or oh, if model is existing, it immediately runs. Otherwise, it pulls from the registry and show it. Okay. So already I have pulled it, so it should run. Starting now, it should take a couple of seconds. Okay, so it's ready for the questions. Let's ask us questions. Yep. Perfect. So you can see the response. Okay, well, let us ask another question. A complex question. Say, oh, authors, yeah, in. Great. Yeah. It's awesome. So it generates output instantaneously. It depends on the speed of the system. It takes time. For the first load, it takes some time, then you will do that. Okay. Uh, when we run the Lama 3 server, uh, it basically starts with the front server. For example, let's go ahead and chat with the call command. So, let's call http localhost 411434. Perfect. So, it, it is showing that Lama is running. So we'll go ahead and check on this server. Uh, okay, let us do some uh, RSTB chat. For example, localhost one one four three four slash VP and chat. What are the parameters? What where? It's a JSON input. What you need is a what Lama three message and role and your question content. Or it can question. Content. So when you give this way, and uh, you get the result back with this response. When it, look, it, uh, it takes some time, but it gives you a response, and it will give you total duration and uh, uh, prompt evaluation duration, evaluation count at evaluation duration. Okay. This is another way of interact with the uh, Lama server. That's a Lama inference server. The other way to interact with the uh, Lama 3 is uh, open web UI. Uh, the, this this is a common UI for other models also. Let's go ahead and see this. So open web, web UI, formerly Lama web UI, basically a self posted web UI and designed to operate entirely offline, meaning we are not going to interact with any public or public servers and your data will not go out. It will be on your own. So the way it is, it's got a lot of features. Uh, uh, you can see the quite a lot of things. Okay, so this is a URL you can check out. And uh, the, let's, the way we install the local installation is, um, the Docker. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. In order to install uh, uh, Open Web UI as a Docker instance, there are two options. One is the local computer where all of us are running on Docker server, 
and the other one is on the different stuff so for this option we'll be using this one okay okay let's go ahead and install the uh, open web ui as a docker image before that let us see docker version perfect it's running let's execute this correct okay so what it is what we are saying is docker run with the uh, it's going to be running all 880 port 880 okay and uh okay main let's order click this it, it's going to pull this images or it will take some time depends on the speed let's wait let's come back in a few up few seconds yeah Okay, the pull is completed. Let us see the token images. Perfect. And uh, let us see whether it's running. Docker PS. Awesome. See, it's running on port 3000. It's internally it's explored outside with uh, 3000. Let's go ahead and back. Okay, let's access the web UI. The closed 3000. Perfect. So you are able to see that. Even though it is a local, locally running application, it's a mandatory that you need to create an account. Let's go ahead and create. Okay. Let, okay. Let's continue. Awesome. You are able to see the, there are some sample. Prompts. Let's see this uh, on back. Audio not selected. So let's clean. Select audio. Uh, three. We have loaded. Let's ask the question. It's going to just output. The first time in practice, we take silence. Awesome. We can see the output. Let us ask another question of say what is a oh. sent a message should be able to see the result. And while it's generating, you can save the chat, then prompts, you can documents, you can save the prompts, and you can save the messages also. Yeah. So, we got the response. Uh, Added with jabberty. So that's how we use we track with the uh, Lama and Vola. There is a mixed tools I showed today. Or uh, where showcased uh, first is Vola, Vola map as a base, then Lama 3, then three years of traction one is uh, CLI, REST, and there's a common tool with uh, Web UI. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. See you next time. Thank you.